contract kitchen uh, feeds about 30 uh, daycares throughout the city, mostly low income, and we also provide meals for 10 homeless shelters, and it's over 2,000 meals a day that we put out. My cooks really put a lot of uh, care and effort into the food, and I'm very proud of that. I didn't really think about, you know, the aspect of preparing the meals for somebody until actually I got to be able to go out and feed people at the shelter. And then it really hits you, hey, you're doing something good to help somebody. And that changes your whole perspective of how you look at things. The students really seem to enjoy that. It, it, you can tell they've got a lot of heart for it, so it's really a nice thing to see. Our students that come into our program are coming here because it's their choice. And the, immediately when they're coming into the program, they're becoming a part of the solution. They provide meals to people in need and they are changing their own lives. To me, there's nothing better. It's the most valuable thing that this place is doing for, for the homeless and for the shelters, other shelters, not just mine, but so many others, and I learn so much. People often ask me, why food? Why culinary training? The best way to please people is through their stomach. I believe that cooking is the most important thing that um, people come together for. Food creates a sense of community to begin with. And the individuals we serve have either lost their community along the way or they never had it in the first place. The darkest time for me started by just being told by your own mother that she wished you hadn't existed. I've gone through so much time in my life thinking that I wasn't really meant to be. So I've kind of learned to not live with expectation. Growing up that way, just to, it, it was very hard to feel a part of a community, a society, school, uh, friend groups, uh, anything. What the students are going through here is somewhat a story that's similar to mine. I was involved with drugs, meth and you know, all that. I was uh, very much into selling drugs and getting into a lot of trouble. I ended up actually uh, having addiction problems um, also. Uh, I was homeless for a while. Life had taken me uh, into prison, um, had taken me into divorce, had taken me into loss of my family, um, house, everything that was a material value and physical value. At some point I realized that I was going to either be back in jail with, you know, a lot more time or I was going to end up being killed. Little things back home happened and, you know, he was like he wanted just to leave and do something different. So I'm like, I'm going with you, you know, you're not leaving me. What I love about food is really not the final product, it is the process that it takes to get to a final dish. Culinary skills is the tool that people choose to, to change their life, but it's really about transformation and about changing the life. So whether or not somebody becomes a chef or not is really not the question. The question is, can they change their life? Fair Start was a great thing that happened to me. It was about the confidence and being renewed as a person. I have a home, I have the first new car that I've ever owned. I'm always trying to grow, you know, for me, but you know, also for people around me. I have finally lost the dark cloud that seemed to be hanging over my head. I'm proud, I'm not ashamed of anything that I've done because everything that happened in my life has made me what I am and where I am today. I'm going to the top. <laughs> it's taken me two years to get where I'm at now, but you know, I know I can do it. The students help me as much as I help the students because um, I feel the same. Um, because I've been where they were. It helps me. I went on the other side of the bridge. This place got me on the other side of the bridge. <laughs>